Full reversal. I'm not going to argue with you. I saved my anger for my enemies. What enemies have you got? I have enemies. Believe me, I have enemies! I feel like a mean machine today, today. You are going to suffer on that tennis court. It's not you that's going to make me suffer. My main opponent today are going to be these bloody tennis shorts you loan me. What size are they? 28. Only four inches out. It's not what the women usually say. Anyway, it's your own fault. You should look after yourself more, like me. Like you? I read the report for your medical insurance. You've got dodgy kidneys and adult liver. And your cholesterol level's so high, you've got more points than Rangers. That's internal. Internal doesn't count. What counts is looking good in a Hugo Boss suit at the age of 44. 45. Wayne. Don't take this personal, but I want you to walk five steps behind. Why? It was you that invited me. That's before I realised what you looked like somewhere normal. I've booked one of the top courts, Toddy. The name Fraser Hood still carries some weight in this town. So do the bags under your eyes. You want to cut down on the vodka, mate? The answer is no. When things are going bad, I get pushed for consolation. When things are going good, I get pushed as a reward. Stay back. Well, if you like, I'll phone me game in from home. That way you won't get embarrassed. With those legs, you only embarrass yourself. Hood. Mal Heron. What do you call that? Sports bag. Romney, show my sports bag. My sports bag could eat your sports bag. Still driving that old motor of yours? What of it? This is my brand new motor. Black BMW, loser. Loser, black BMW. <laughs> that reminds me. How is the wife? Your chicky. Morning, Malcolm. Morning, Fraser. Grand day for a knock-up. Except we're playing tennis. Got a laugh, haven't you? I'm going home now to see my personal trainer. Otherwise, I'd restring my racket with your entrails. Nice shorts. Sixty to revival. I feel old. Looking forward to dinner, Fraser. <laughs> Courage. Let's sniff some life here. Don't answer that. Why not? Not out here. Yo, Fraser Hood, Uptown Leisure. Where are you going? From now on, you can walk behind me. What? What kind of explosion? I'll be right there. What's the matter? Remember how when we got in the car, we both had jobs? Yeah. Now we don't. Terrible things have happened. Do you know the fire brigade think this may have been started deliberately? Tell me, do you have any enemies? What is you for a start, McKenna? Well, don't wind him up, Todd. He forgets to stop. Oh, I'll never stop, Hood. Not till I've settled you. One of my constables spent six months in crutches thanks to you. And I spent four years in prison thanks to him. He stitched me up and you worked that boy over. In a socially acceptable way. Now, come on, come on. That was years ago. He's respectable now. Here, Fraser. Shall I show him your sports bag? Shut up. Respectable. When he's employing his ex cellmate as his business partner. Partner? Did you hear that, Fraser? Can I have that in writing? Make no mistake. I'm watching you. Ta Come on, let's go in. Might not be as bad as it looks.
pure mess in it. And I bet you were outside thinking, I hope it's not as bad as it looks. How can I function in these conditions? I've got a mob of wild women coming in Thursday night expecting to see Neanderthals in football shots. It's the West of Scotland finals. Oh, it'll be like cancelling the Oscars. Who done this, Maury? How should I know? I just got a call for the cop shop telling me to get down here pronto. The place was in fire. I gave the police a statement and off they went. Why did they not send for me? They preferred to speak to someone who works here. Shut it. No, there's only one suspect in a thing like this. Mulheron? You bet your ass. Right. I want this place cleaned up and open for business by five o'clock. And don't let Aina stand underneath the happy air sign. Some of the punters do have a sense of irony. Come on. Where are we going? Business meeting. Partick. Pearl on lunch. What's this? I didn't order the jumbo celery stick. And I didn't order an open plan club, but I've got one now, and you're to blame. What are you jibbering about? Don't give us that, you bulk bag. Just because I've moved with the times, just because my club is bigger than your club, you get a petted lip and give my club the milky. Garbage, I never touched your poxy club. I felt your arse, Mulherin. If there's one thing you can't take, it's having your arse felt. You never felt my arse. No man feels my arse. What are you looking at? Eat, eat. Excuse me, sir. Who the hell are you? The waiter, sir. Well, don't wait here. Bugger off. I don't know what your last problem was, Hood. But here's your problem now. It's you and me for a square go, OK? You think I've gone soft, but you're wrong, Mulherin. You and me, now, by the cake stand. Oh, and by the way, this time you're on your own, because my team is guarding the door. Your team? What the hell team have you got? All right, love. Hi, T. The scones are lovely. <laughs> All right, lads. Going somewhere? What? Sorry, lads, you can't come in. Private party. Look, don't be a silly person. Just stand to one side, or Romney and me are going to have to damage you. Ah, why argue? Fair enough, lads. We get the door yourself. Come ahead, you bam. What are we gonna do? Stand here all day throwing adjectives at one another. Come on. Actually, if you don't mind, I think I'll just finish my gazpacho before it gets warm. Try some yourself. Can it with a soup batter? Come ahead. I said try some. <laughs> hey, waiter. There's a fly man in my suit. <laughs> That's brilliant, monkey. I don't know how you make them up. Don't patronise me, arsehole. You'll sully the moment. Now get him out! <laughs> Sorry, Fraser. I tried to stop them. I took one out with a jab, but the other one kicked me in the bollocks. Never mind that. It's gone beyond a skirmish. Come on. Where are we going? My study. Council of War. Something wrong, Malky? Bad karma. Somebody torched this club and he thinks I've done it. If a club war's going to start up, I want to know who's behind it. Ask around. Right, Big Excuse me. The scones are lovely. Shut up. <laughs> It's a nice house, Darren. I shall enjoy slaughtering Hood and living in his abode. Yes, I could be very happy with a second home. Oh, you don't want to be happy, Grant. Daddy ended up happy. And that's what arrested his development. I mean, by all means, slaughter people. Seize their property. Don't be happy about it. Indeed. But Dad peaked too early in life, Darren. We won't make that mistake. After all... We don't want to end up looking like that. Soft kid. Is it 
all off. Apart from the egg. No jokes. I came close to losing face today. In my circles, there's only one way to get your cred back. I wouldn't use the word cred in these postmodern days, Fraser. It's got no cred. Oh, it's you. I thought it was someone useful, like the grocery boy. Oh. Hi, honey. I'm home. Wait! Where do you think you're going? His study. Council of War. The cleaner's in the study. You'll have to use the kitchen. I cannot function in the kitchen. You cannot function anywhere. That'll be the delivery boy. Great, I'm starving. I've got no time to cook. I could eat you some soup. Skip it. Lounge. Youth smashed Burton's window. Youth held in chip shop frenzy. My whole life's in there. Nitz Hill man held in violence probe. Man held in extortion case. Go on. Hood held in gangland crackdown. Hood held? You see that? No more of that manor youth crap. I knew then I had arrived. Local gang leader Fraser Hood was in court yesterday in connection with this ongoing campaign and was sentenced to three years for false pretenses. That's not the point. Me and my team put Nitz Hill on the map. Daddy's showing you a report card, is he? Do you know he got a gold star for stabbing once, didn't you? My little overachiever. Never interrupt your father during a council of war. Shut it. Oh, would you listen to that, Wayne? That Berlin finishing school fair shows, doesn't it? You can't hide breeding, my egg. Mad Koji. Tommy Two Eyes. Tommy Two Eyes? Look out. Hey, Napoleon. What's this? Should have been an easy one, but I'll give you a clue. You peel them, boil them, even make chips. Ringing any bells? Skip the satire. What's the pitch? That big baldy Rotarian and his poor faced wife, the Liddells. They're coming for dinner. Or had you forgotten? Oh, box! Don't say bollocks in the living room, Fraser. It's rude. Whatever. They're your pals, not mine. You sort it out. I'm off for a sunbed. Where do you think you're going? Oh, I'd love to stay and help you peel the potatoes, Fraser, but I'm meeting this young lady for a drink and... Oh, no, you're not. Here. What's this? The Nitz Hill Boys. List of names and last known addresses. Fraser, the Nitz Hill Boys were years ago. Round them up and head them in. Tell them big, mad, mental Fraser is back and he's looking for handers. They're all deranged, they'll understand. You never really liked me, have you, Fraser? Just do it. If you get any trouble out there, any trouble at all, just use my name, OK? Oh, I will. I will. Sorry to trouble you, love. I was wondering if big, mad, mental Benny Two Hammers McGlashan lived here. Who? Fraser Hood sent me. Who? I thought you'd say that. Bye. Bloody Tilly! That's what I call a critic. It's a champion. It's a champion. Come on, come on. Excuse me. Do you know where uh, Big Bad Mental Benny Two Hammers McGlashan is? Uh -huh. Fraser Hood sent me. But we Babbity McConnell? Uh, McGlashan, you say? Uh, uh, McConnell. Yeah, yeah, do you know them? No, 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 no. I'd say that's, that's in it. We're, it would be game of golf, you know, just farting about and just try to do it. I mean, there's people up in the, what do you call it, the satellites, because you're, you're watching, you know, you're like, oh, you know, your back's going like that, you know, and you've got to be careful. Because, I mean, that's how I've, I've just got the lace-ups, you know, because the slip-ons just keep coming off all the time. 
So, did I mention about the three men in the van? That's oh, murder. Well, that's, that's how I've ended up with a wee tiny bit of paper, because I'm looking at it and I'm saying to myself, is it any wonder you can't read a prescription? Because they're not after that, do Honest to God. But, no. Anyway, uh, okay, what, what, what did? What was it you asked me again? That's all right. I, I thought you'd say that. Bye. Oh! We've got lollies. Sorry, but Fraser's made me work late. But I found this wonderful little bijou pub that we can have a drink in. It's called. Um... Right, that's it. You are the part. Don't want to see you in Benson's again. It's called Benson's. It's in Nitz Hill. Where? Hang on a minute. Dad? Is it all right if Alistair enters Mr. Football Shot's contest tomorrow? Depends. Is Alistair posh? His father's a grand master. Impressed? Impressed? I'm going to have to knit him a prayer mat. Fraser, put the glasses on the table. Manners, my little love cuddy. What's the magic word? Divorce. The very one. Well, I'll see you in about an hour then. Yeah, OK, Morag. I'll be here. Bye. Excuse me. What is Can it I... you're looking for mental Benny Two Hammers McGlashan? Well, you've seen him. Not so fast. Are you for the polis or the social security? No, I'm from Fraser Hood. Well, in that case, you're found. How'd you do? Hi. Look, no offence, but I thought you were called Big Mental Benny Two Hammers McGlashan. I am big. I'm just wee physically. Come and meet the next hill, boys. There's some hot action going down. I think it was Todd, boss. How many other Londoners do you know up here? Right. Break the guns at the biscuit tin. Draw the sword at the wine rack. We are on the war footing. Yes! And another little job well done. It's coming on nicely. I think I'm going to enjoy being a Scottish leisure magnet. Come on. Let's go and eat some clouty dumpling. Indeed. Boy, he's a teacher in Sydney, married a pretty girl. Oh, look, there's one of his wee lassie. Aye, uh, uh, very good, Dobbs, but the man needs an answer. So what's it to be? I know it's a lot to ask, but Fraser Hood was your mucker. He's asking for one last tiny spot of mayhem. Oh, that's all very well, but mayhem's different now. It's all high tech. It's not innocent like when we were mental. Oh, aye, I mean, it was all hear him, scare him in our day. Oh, sure. I mean, someone might lose a nose. Or a lung. Or the power of speech. But basically, it was harmless. Nowadays, it's all Uzis and calculators. Very nice. Come on, lads. One Friday night out of your lives. Friday? Oh, I don't know. I'd miss Brookside. You could always tape it. But nurses is on. And Grace under fire. And anyways, I've only got a one-hour tape. Wayne Todd, telephone for Wayne Todd. Uh, yeah, that's me. Look, lads, I'll, I'll leave you a mullet over, right? Excuse me. Oh, I don't know. Aye, uh, we're getting too old for this. There you are. Thanks. Hello? 
Morag? Well, how did you know I was here? What? Oh, uh, laughing boy at Benson's told me. He said you'd probably be there. Uh, listen, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it tonight. You're not playing games again, are you, Morag? No, I'm not playing games. It's just that, well, uh, something's come up. <laughs> Bushwhacking bug pop my head. I'll bulk it a lot of years myself. Try the kiwi fruit, Crawford. Betty bought them fresh this morning. Oh, yes, too wired in. You shot out the windy. We don't stand by your motor. I sure. We'll just run back to Derrison and get it. Listen, you bring me hood jobs and a plate. You're on a brand new Sierra. Go faster, Stripes. Defo, now shoot the tube! <laughs> there, there, dear. My good lady's heavily pregnant, Fraser. All this horseplay could bring on the baby. Betty, there's a business rival trying to blow my napper off. For God's sake, sparkle. Would you like to see our holiday snaps? It's like a battlefield! It's absolutely brilliant! Tell him to hang on, I'll be straight over. Wayne, you see this spot of mayhem you've penciled us in for? Yeah? Well, me and the boys are interested. But there's just one thing we'd like to know. What? What exactly would you be expecting of us? Well, basically, it's bashing people over the head with clubs. We wouldn't need to know how to work a computer. No, a bit of wood with nails in it. You hear that, boys? In that case, what in. When do we start? Right now! Come on! Are you the Nitzel boys or the Sunshine boys? You hear that? Nitzel me, Nitzel you, Nitzel break your skull in two! Die, die, die! Hello! Ah, no. Give me the bullet box. The bullet box is empty, Malky. All that's left is air gun pellets. Got half an arrow. What do you look like, William Tell? It's a Smith and Wesson, you numpty. Reinforcements! Hosky, move! I give you the keys! Who's got the bloody keys? Get the key! They're in the ignition! Would you get out of here? Shift it, I eat Come on, yeah! Mindless violence! It's brilliant, eh? Gives you back your self respect, doesn't it? June, isn't it? Fraser, it's Mrs. Little. She's giving birth. No bother. I can't thank you enough, Mr. McGlashan. Please, just call me two hammers. I'm used to this. There's Wayne splattered all over my house. Six at the last count. Cheers. The ambulance will be along at any hour now, they said. Oh, isn't she just gorgeous? Morag, come and look at the wee baby. Yeah, no, you're all right, thanks. There's more interesting ones down the stairs. Die, die, die! <laughs> well, we beat them off this time. But they'll be back. Ah, but we'll be ready for them. I mean, we all have our own skill. Think about it. I'm good with a blade. Scud. A bat. Benny. Hammers. Fraser. Club. Wayne. Tea. Sugar, everyone? Yes, yes please. please. Right. I'm wet, and I'm not all right. Sometimes I feel I don't belong up here. 
You don't. What's your point? It's nice to know you belong. That someone cares. Oh, I care about you. You do? No, but it gave you a couple of seconds of happiness thinking I did, didn't it? One day, Morag, someone's going to wipe that smoke right Shut off your Shut up. Now, do you believe I care? The door marked persuasion just creaked open. And I had my hand on the handle. Fancy a drink? Yeah, that would be nice. So do I. That's why I'm going to the pub with Alistair. In fact, that'll be him now. So... You can have this, and I'll see you later. What are you doing? I smell sex. Well, it's not coming from me. I'm making the tea. Forget the tea. Mull Heron's been on the blower. The ambulance is here, Fraser. That's Mr. and Mrs. Liddell away. Cheery by the now, Crawford. We must do it again sometime. <laughs> yes. Let's. Mo Aaron's got a cheek ringing you up. What did he want? A meat. A meat? After what he's done? Only an idiot would meet with a treacherous git like Mo Aaron. Yeah, exactly. And that's where you come in. Is it who we thought it was for? Yes, sir. Emu McIntyre. Owned a couple of clubs in the Springburn area. Routine sleazeball. Half shares in a brothel, bit of loan sharking, dabbled in jellies. Wasn't he averse to line of Charlie? They say he got his nickname because he once broke into a zoo and tried to shag it. Yes, I'm well aware how Emu McIntyre got his nickname, Forbes. That makes three strikes against Clubland in the last week. First Hoot, then Mulheron, and McIntyre. It could be there's a club war about to break out. In which case, I do not want the media getting involved. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Photographer. Sir, get him to smile. How did you get this? I've got friends in low places. So tell me, do they chip marks in this fizzer mean what I think they mean? I think so. How would you know? Call me Mr. Sentimental. Maybe it's because I'm a Londoner. But I've seen these markings before. Hood! Come out of here, my swatch at this. I'll leave my back uncovered. That will be right. This is the trademark of a South London outfit called the Bloods. Garbage! The Bloods are a gang from LA. I should know. My cousin runs with them. It does. The real Bloods are from LA. But when it comes to making names up, British gangs aren't very... well, original. Double garbage! Where did the guys get good fellas? You try to say we're no original! Oh, you shut it, you two! Lucky for you, I'm a businessman and no a hooligan. Otherwise, I would take your remarks personal and be compelled to beat you savagely about the head and neck. And it's the neck that's the sorest. The Bloods are run by two brothers, Grant and Darren Appleton. Appleton? Was their old man Billy Appleton? The same. The boys are in like Billy. We've got problems. I thought it'd take a compass and a team of huskies to get you at your corner. If they're after our clubs, I'm all heading. We're both in the same corner. It's divide and rule, chaps. They set you against each other, you bash each other's brains out, they come in, pick up the pieces and end up with your empires. Classic Billy tactic. The Billy only operated in London. Why would they move out? We're in the age of the Euro, Ned, gentlemen. London isn't big enough. Out there is a great big internet superhighway. And there's most likely another reason. What other reason? What other reason? Don't hit me, but I suspect they think you've both gone soft. Soft-ish! Uh, just a minute. I think it's for you, boss. What do you mean? Yeah, it's for Mr. Blobby. Who is this? Hello. Turn to your left and give us a wave, fat boy. And when I say boy, I am, of course, being ironic. Grant Appleton here. Oh, dear. We rather hoped you and Hood would be dead by now. Very much alive, small boy. Looking right.
right down in your crooky wee face and your unwiped bum. Indeed. In that case, my brother and I would like to kill you both and take all your property. Could we arrange for a convenient date for that to happen, please? I think we're free on, uh... Thursday. Thursday, indeed. Unless, of course, that's one of your home help days. Thursday it is. Team handed. I look forward to it, Mr. Appleton. You hear that, Hood? Thursday. Pencil and extreme violence. Just like the old days. Yes! If I get a note from me, Mum, can I be excused? Just a thought. Come on, sweetheart, let's have a look. <gasps> Pretty groovy, eh? Four button? More if you count the ones down the back of your head. What? 600 pounds for a suit. Not just any suit. This is a Kenzo. For today's violent criminal in a hurry. Yes, dressing up for mayhem is a proud tradition in Glasgow's nethery. How'd that look? How are the rest of the Mersey beats? All right, Dad. Going to a funeral? Well, you could say that. Who's this? Alistair. We've been out choosing football shots for tonight's competition. Haven't we, honey? We have indeed. Great thighs, hasn't we? Thank you. Here you. Get your thigh off her hand. Tell them. Get your thigh off her hand. See you tonight. Need any help, sir? Some Vaseline and a shoehorn, please. Sorry? To get his trousers off. Oh. Malky. What? Would you mind if I took a lover? I don't mind if you took a lover where? To the Cheviot's camping. To my bed, of course. To be my sexual plaything and to fulfill my desires in a wanton and lustful fashion. I would have to temper you against that course of action. If you'd fulfill your obligations as a husband, I wouldn't have to. Why not? Because it would be unfeasible. And if I was to even try and feasible, it, I would become unhinged and very likely damage you and your plaything in a way that would put sex very low on your list of priorities for a good wee while. If you'll excuse me, I've got some wounding to do. Suit yourself. But I'm definitely buying a parrot. This is a venue, sir. Try not to think of it as a football match, folks. More as a cull of rogue bull seals. <laughs> Only this bunch are more stupid than seals, because they're actually going to club each other to death. Right, let's mosey. Our role is to appear later on with some bin bags and scoop up the bits. When did you get that violence suit? A while ago. How? Must have been. A me bit just fell out the turn up. <laughs> Oi! William Wallace! Is this what you call a team? Looks more like Dad's army. <laughs> this is gonna get messy. Right! Violence overalls on! Yes! Yes! Very sorry, your mate Todd. Where are you hiding them? Not infantry material. Fixed them up with a cushy billet at the club. Well, 
I'd be safer with a Nitsu again. How can people get so et up about a few blokes in football shorts? You forget, this is Glasgow. So? So, there's five finalists, right? Two are wearing Celtic cacks, two Rangers. So no matter who you pick as a winner, there's bound to be a Rami. What's the fifth one wearing? Patrick Thistle. Well, there you are then. My prayers are answered. <laughs> you think so? Quiet, please, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Oh, I suppose it'd be better to uh, right, Scott Ned. After much soul searching and deliberation. Get on with it! All right, all right, all right. The judges have finally made a very difficult decision. Come on, let's go! The winner of the West Coast of Scotland, Mr. Football Schultz, is. decision is a travesty of soccer justice. Ogilvy and I have pumped iron solidly for weeks in readiness for this competition. Now we have been robbed of our destiny. Oh, oh Sean, you're talking through yes, Please, Alistair, be quiet, please. Come on, let's This is man. nothing but papal prejudice against decent Protestant fun worshippers of Glasgow. <laughs> this is nothing but typical of proddy paranoia. Yeah. Let's keep religion out of underpants. This is well we've cleaned up in time, eh? tools back in your hands, isn't it, dogs? Great to get your dignity back, isn't it? Let me wrap this up pronto. I'm going to get a decent night's sleep. I'll meet with the fat man tomorrow morning. Fair enough. Oh, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> No, thank you. Tango Oscar 3, report to disturbance at Manhattan Skyline. Shit. Received, over. In the name of goodness. Well, we can't have two Rammies on the one patch, can we? Put out an alert. Yes, sir. I've never been up here. Yeah. Ah, just like the old days, eh, Hood? Fancy a wee spritzer? What? Drink with you without an injection? Ah, you're right, I don't know what come over me there. Run, lads, it's a busy! Run, you bastard! Yeah, I'm not going anywhere without me head. What do they look like? Is that a left and a right? Swing me dogs. Anybody swing me dogs? Time to ask you out to dinner. That's better. Now maybe this time we can get off on the right foot. Yeah, that'd be nice. I don't always play games, you know. Ah, the old game of pretending not to be playing a game, huh? Naked is the best disguise. We should be so lucky. <laughs> Here's to the Jags. It was Partick Thistle that brought us together. 
and only partake this up and tear us apart. Mm. Nice suit. Yeah. Kenzo. Four buttons. More up to count the ones on the fly. Fraser, this is not what you think. Up. Get it off. What is it with you, my pal? I mean, what do you see in a cheap, aging, greasy, spineless, jumped up, numpty? A father figure? Miss, about your companion. He'll have to leave. I'm afraid he's improperly dressed. Well, what's wrong with him? He was wearing a tie. But unfortunately, not much else. Satisfied? Right. And you might as well have these as well. Up the jacks! In next week's Bad Boys, we're uh, Miss Fraser Hood. The return of an old friend. That man wants to kill me. Marks the beginning. Well, I'm reluctant to admit it. But I'll miss Fraser Hood. Of an end. Fraser's really dead. It's my fault. Time to pay your respects in Bad Boys next Wednesday, 